Oh, are you filming now? Yeah. Hi, everybody. What's up, vloggers? Dum dum dum, come back at you again. With the Bell Life Bell vlogs. Life. Oh, yeah. As we start, everybody always, always asks where we've been. They're, they've they haven't seen us in a while. We have our website, thebelllife.com, where we still upload videos three days a week. Well, that one's about healed. This one's a little bit more here. That's from a cheese grater, but we still do that type of stuff on the website, thebelllife.com. That then, type of stuff. And then uh, we do another style of stuff on the Bell Life Bangs. That's on YouTube. If you want to check that out, check out the Bell Life. Um, uh, Ask the Bell Life. All the links will be in the description below. But I'm trying to say that at the beginning of videos now. But hopefully after this video, we've done either we'll have a viral video or something big is going to happen. Because <laughs> yeah. okay. when something bad, all this bad stuff happened and Trey always comes out smelling like a rose. It could have been catastrophic. It could have been thousands of dollars. How did I come out smelling like a rose? Well, that's what we got to show them. They're wondering. The picture for the thumbnail is probably blurred out. I didn't come out smelling like no rose. Technically, it could have been worse. Justin's, it can always be worse. I don't know. This is a pretty close situation. You think so? You want to walk over and look at it? He's digging out. Um, weeds. Yeah, right now, if you can't tell. What happens when you got forever driveway? You get weeds in your driveway. So we're doing some other stuff. Um, I, I guess, was peeing. Well, I guess, obviously, you'll, you'll see on another video. I don't know when what's coming out when, but trying to get the Kubota out and it had dead batteries so we had to jump start that. <laughs> Tell you what, we got this little jump box. I'll show you all the name here in a minute or whatever, but we've used the crap out of that thing in the past few months. So if you're the owner of that company and you're watching this, a little bit of a, we need a big one to jump start diesel trucks. A big one. Yeah, we ain't got no dead diesel trucks, but if we did have a dead diesel truck, we'd have a way to start it. But nice day out today, it's a Tuesday, so. I don't even know. March 12th, uh, 20, date and everything. What's 20, the time? 2024. Well, yeah, when you're watching this in 20 years. What's the time? I'll be dead in 20 years. 558. So, this is where everything went down. If everything went down, I was on the back deck taking a piss. And then you looked over? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Everything yeah. went down for me. You can kind of tell from looking out. Our kitchen door window whatever you want to call that you can see that right there yeah that ain't what happened no that's i saw that though but um but that's not what happened could have been a situation so we're going to show you what happened around this side if you remember he got all new he got all new siding i think it was last year maybe yeah, a minute ago. That happened. That tree right there is the thing I'm talking I about. I wouldn't hold. I would have heard it, but that could have hit that conditioning unit. It hit that stupid electric box. The breaker box on the side of the house. So it looks like she hit about right there. <laughs> and slid down. So look what's right above that. My kitchen window. Yeah. He might. He got a little hole from it. Did I? No. These windows are just 80 years old. Like, they're not 80. Rip that off there. I can't rip that off there. That's what do you the. Mean? Well, don't rip that off there. Why don't you do that? Everything else has got it. Oh, they don't all have. Apparently, don't ruin his. I know, but you got perfectly good ones right through here. Well, this one ain't perfectly good. Oh, you're gonna get, oh my gosh. It's perfectly good now. I wouldn't have done that. All these other windows got it. I'd have a heart attack now. But I if can't remember. If the windows, if the screen's got a hole in it. It's going in the trash. Well, I can't remember. I think this condition. Oh, no, it didn't break that stick at all for anything. Well, I think that condition unit fell or something, didn't it? I don't think it hit the line set. I, you've done something with this condition unit. It started to fall or it fell or something, didn't it? Talking about. Didn't the condition unit fall in the past five years? No. It hasn't? Fall. Well, well so that just happened then. What? The line set all been up. I guess, yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, okay. No, so this this can't we didn't film any of this. I think it might have been before YouTube, but this thing used to be down. Heat pump still work good. I think it used to be down uh here. Right there. Yeah. I think that's where the old seating where all the disconnect used to be. The old unit used to sit right here. And I moved it down there a while ago. Probably gonna need some a rope. And uh it looks like it tweaked that a little bit because I had nice 90 degree angles. I think it's gonna hurt us if I turn it back up. I don't know. 
Don't do it. If it blows right now, we, we, well, you wouldn't be in a serious situation. It's, it's heating, so. Yeah. Only took up to the tractor and pull it. That's why we got the tractor out. Yeah, we got a strap. And then this one, we don't know about that one yet. You got a strap? Mm, no, I'll have to get one. Just drag it. Did it? A little bit. Looks like it might have. Nothing broke. Could have broke the new deck off the back. If it would have ripped the air conditioner off and broke the railing off, that would have been Bad. Yeah, about a about a hmm. I don't know. Four thousand, three thousand dollar repair. Probably call the insurance company on that one. And you'd have to take about six months before it would get fixed. Hey, what if we just what do you want to hook it? You want to bring a tractor up here and hook a strap to? Is that what you want to do? Are you just wanting to put it in the weeds, or what do you want to do with it? Well, Justin, I mean, well, if we get a chainsaw out, what do you want me to do with it? Shove it up behind it? I can't do it with that thing. Well, I know, but I'm... Well, you, I mean, you, this one technically needs to be cut down. Or it's going to be against the house, so... Yeah, from there to there. You know? Pretty close. What do you mean pretty close? It's going to fall against the house. It's leaning that way. Yeah. yeah. That will destroy the siding. Yeah, that'll destroy the siding and probably the air conditioner and one unit. Yeah, but the problem is, oh, there's a big hole in it right there. In that log. What's that mean? It's hollow. <laughs> what problem we got here is, uh, it is definitely leaning towards the house. Woody in there. So we're definitely going to have to pull it from over there. Oh, well, we'll do it. We'll do her. So, I mean, let's hook a strap up there and pull it. Where's the chainsaw? At the house. You got a decent one? Yeah, it's the one we cut all the trails with at the property. Well, we probably need to cut the log up before we start hooking the tractor to it and all like that. Okay? That would probably make more sense. Yeah. Let's see if this thing will... Go yeah, I was going to see if this thing will start. dead but when we tried to have them it ran yet this year it's gonna be a neutral fire nope this little stupid that no that switch and there is a uh, new holland's the same way it's bad basically it's a new got it all right right up all right we'll get a strap and a chainsaw be back here in a minute Drag it and let it sit. It ain't, it, I don't think it's that big a deal, do you? No? Uh, I don't think about that. You want to take firewood over that pit? For you guys? Yeah, actually, I can just do that. I'll cut it up and just take firewood over there. That's a good idea. Well, that's a little bucket. Well, give it here, I'll cut it. Okay. You can cut it? I don't care you cut it. Here, I'm going to cut you upside the head. What do you think? Blake, where'd you get your sweatshirt at? Abellife.com? That's not my sweatshirt. It acts stupid when it, it doesn't. So, it started acting that way down at the uh, property. Uh-oh, Blake, what do you think? Let me see the back of your hoodie. Again. Then choke it. Oh, okay, then let it off choke. Up to there now. Now it, it'll it'll be giving a gas, but it'll start.
this way. Watch it, Lake. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, just pull it back down to that full choke and then take it off full choke on one position up and then it'll so get it throttle and then full choke it. There you go. And like this. Yeah, now full choke it. Okay, now that one position up. Now it's, it'll give it a case. Somebody's up, take them over to the fire pit. We got a fire pit over there at that house. Freaking thing's jumped. Yeah, something, something What'd happened. What did you do to it? I don't know. It was brand new when I went down there with it. I don't know. It's idle or something's messed up with it. Blake, get over Get off your lazy hind and get them shoes on the right feet. Daddy. You look like a retard. Put the shoes on the right feet. No. Blake, pick up some sticks. All right, oil load just bucketing me back. Found another part of the tree that fell first. Look at that. Pull that out. I how deep that it is. It is tailed. Could have been the roof. Oh yeah, that's at least. It's been bad, but I don't know. Five inches. Loading her up. All right, we're up here in the neighbor's property. Got the tractor. We got a tree. We've never done anything like this before. Something bad can happen. We don't have a. Uh, we don't have a tripod. Though. Look at this hillbilly apparatus. You gonna take your notch? tractor and I'll put some tension and cut from the other side. Hear what I said? Yeah, cut it from the other side? No, I'm going to get on the tractor and I'm going to pull some tension this way and I want you to cut from the other side and it should fall this way. Right. Or take a little notch. A little Look, it? take a little notch. on. Take, give me that. Start, start that sole back up. Okay. It might start. I don't know. <laughs>
adjust. I want to pull this way. I don't take this other little tree out when it falls. Hey, let me readjust with the. Uh, let me readjust. I'll readjust with the tractor. I'll pull it right to the left of this tree, so maybe it'll come down between those two trees. Well, if you notch it out though, Justin, I don't know. Don't let a bunch off. Think it'll fall? I don't know. All right, that wean all the way through it. Nah, you're good. We got one over there. Pretty much tension on it. Feels pretty tight. Good. Yeah, probably just cut it right here on the nibble on it right here on the end on this side. Now it's gonna take that little tree out, but this tree's in the way, so. Deader than a doornail, isn't it? Termite. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Wow. Hey, yeah, well, it fell. Still fell the complete wrong way. All right. I guess let's start. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. What's left? Hey, one thing that goes up here. This is the last load you're going to take out of here. Okay. Pick some of this little stuff up. Okay? No, we ain't picking that little stuff up. He said, don't worry about that. Okay. Just get this, the big one. And then we got 
what, three more big ones down there? Yeah. Four big ones down there and we're done. Alright. Alright, Trey's taking that load. His driveway comes up this hill. When you meet it on an angle like that, and it's off camber, and this little tiny tractor, y'all saw it, we've had it for a, a long time. Uh, it actually used to be my Uncle Johnny's. Shout out to Uncle Johnny. It's my mom's brother. But um, they got it. We took the mower deck off and we use it for a little, you know, obviously a little yard tractor around the house here. We used it down at the property, but it's a little bit, um, we use it on fixing the bridge actually down at the property. And one, one railroad tie makes it kind of weird feeling. So, but I mean, it's just a little yard tractor, you know. Yeah, right there see that driveway is going back down the hill and then you come down this hill right onto our street right there i'm gonna walk through the woods this wasn't from us this was must be uh another time but we actually checked on that app land glide i don't know if y'all got that on your phones or not but supposedly it's supposed to be the best property line Thing there is out let us know what y'all think but technically trey's neighbor's property goes all the way to trey's house <laughs> so which they told us the same thing a little backstory our house we were talking about building a little garage like this in the side yard before we were going to build a house you know like three or four years four years ago whatever it was and uh they actually said that we couldn't build here or sorry they actually said our house uh wouldn't be allowed to be built on this lot today so according to the city you're not allowed to build a little uh, garage right here either even to match the house or anything but so now we gotta go up down this this little this is like a decent foot there you know what i mean let's come along this weather says it's uh, 60 out right now, and it's 7, 18. But time, between the time changing and it staying light longer, that's awesome. But being 60 degrees and freaking sunny, he's dumping it over there. I don't know, I'll show you all here in a minute, but we got a fire pit in between mine and Brian's house. And I think you've all seen it in the videos. You had to have, but we're putting all the wood over there for the fire fires this year. I didn't know all this. We got all kinds of wood right here if we need some more. But this is where we're at. Get all this crap loaded up and I guess call it a night. See that cut right there? If I showed you that or not. Old chainsaw does pretty good. It's actually not that old. It was brand new when I took it to the property and started cutting trails. Uh, now she's, I think I've been through two, two or three chains on it. All right, quit yapping. This is what it looks like so far. All right, I think we're overloaded. It's like a thousand pounds of this bucket or something, really. Might need to watch this. out rusted them out so me and dad i'm not golly i think that was last fall maybe like not even fall like september but we got new wheels and uh reused the tires that were on there no that's it on that guy but let me know if you all like the nice weather staying out till dark every night eating dinner at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> 
I love it. But I think we're about good back here. So, be back here in a second. He's taking that last load over. I'll show you what that pile is. A, a big pile for a little tiny fire, fire pit. Oh, crap, he's putting them up. Uh, tractor up. I thought he's coming back. I'll go over and show you. I got the chainsaw. Go over and show our pile. Boss, what are you doing? Ooh, crap. It's a little tight back there. I forgot to tell him that. Sounded like a crunch noise. You all hear that? I don't know. We'll go assess what happened here in a second. Big piles of dog poop. Hey, might be able to use that. Oh, on the bellife.com. Always have poop on standby. You never know. Almost there. So this is all coming up too. All this dirt that we did last year with the skid steer. Um, got to uh, get gravel in here. For sure. Gotta do that. there that is some firewood boys look at all that we got a door we're, I think we're good for a minute for fires I gotta get that piece of wood no Brian neighbor y'all seen him a bunch and bunch of videos he actually just got a new Harley and it wouldn't fit in his basement so he had to get some new doors so y'all stay tuned for that because I'm pretty uh, jealous over that one it's a pretty sweet bike well, let's go assess this damage here. All right, boss, alarm. He just pulled it in, bumped the other motor deck. But that's it. Crisis averted. You gotta stay tuned for this other stuff that's going on. Show her. Show her feet. Like those are the wrong feet, bag. What do you got in your mouth? Clown. What is it? Something you found on the ground? Probably. What is it? Is it candy? It ain't candy. Let me see. Open your mouth. Yeah, you're an egghead. You better get it out of your mouth before you fall and choke on it, egghead. Anyways, uh, that was pretty, actually a pretty close call. So hopefully um, that, that kind of stuff happens to us on this platform from now on. It's just always a close call. You know what I mean? Never. That, that dangerous. But subscribe to the Bell Ice. it didn't hit the house. Could have been a lot worse. Man, if it knocked a We're hole. We're going to get a hold of somebody. If y'all know anybody else cuts trees down wants to be on a vlog we'll give you a shout out for your come here and help, help with your services and help us out we got one more over there. it's a big one a little bit out of our league yeah we can't handle that one you're gonna need a bigger salt that's what she said but anyways subscribe here subscribe to the bell life bangs subscribe to uh ask the bell life and then uh check us out on the bell life .com. All... back your neck again I know. It all it, it started itching really bad till about Thursday. It itches every time you hold the camera in front of your face. Thank you all. We appreciate it. See you on the next one. Real quick, I forgot to show this, but this is this jump starter pack. No co or whatever. Got another mower here. This is the this is the mower we mow with around here around the house. But I think it's a 62 inch uh, two wheel drive diesel John Deere. This guy right here. See, this is only the GB20, the Sport, and still full it's still full after jumping that tractor but this is mainly for you know you got your that's where you, you pull this little plug out right there and then you plug your alligator clips into it but i saw a good um a dude review them on on uh i can't remember what channel that was i just saw them advertised i think it was on facebook or something i'm like huh that looks like a good idea before we went to gatlinburg last year to go uh motorcycle riding because mine and amy's harley um <laughs> wasn't start it it's weird. It was intermittent. Um, uh, we just ended up changing the battery or whatever, but replacing the battery, but it wasn't uh, starting all the time. So I wanted a jumper box to bring with us in case something bad happened. Because you can take the seat off with no, what's that called? No uh, hardware. So got this, but this thing has become handy as crap. But it has a hard time starting bigger vehicles. And I got on their website and they got bigger ones. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you all that. I think this one was like. I can't remember it's on amazon maybe a hundred dollars i think the most expensive is like 400 but the good one i think is around 299 but anyways just want to show you all it's something handy to keep in your car